Good morning, Grizzlies. I'm Mrs. Seagal, one of the school counselors here at Mission Hills High School. Today, we're gonna to be talking to you about things that you need to know in order, in order to um, get through the school year. First, we're gonna be talking about um, your counselors, getting to know who your counselors are and how to get a hold of them. Also learning about what school counselors do to support our students and our families, as well as, well as learning about other resources available to you through the school counseling department. Today, we'll have two objectives. The first objective will be students will be able to identify who their school counselor is and how to contact him or her. And second, students will be able to identify at least one resource available to them. Here at Mission Hills High School, we have six school counselors. I'm Cheryl Baker, and I work with students whose last names begin with A through CI. Hello, again, my name is Mrs. Seagal. I work with most students' last names beginning CL through GO. Hi, Grizzlies. My name is Eric Cruz, and I support students with last names GR through LL. Hello, Mrs. Goldstein here, and I work with students' last name LO through OP. Hi, Mrs. Martinez Alejandra. You guys can call me Mrs. Martinez, and I um, support students with last names OR through SAN. And hi, my name is Mrs. Rios, and I work with students' last names SAP through Z. This year, we have two San Diego State University um, students that are learning how to be school counselors, and let's meet them now. Hi there, I'm Mr. Mansalvis. I'm a school counseling intern from SDSU. I'm really happy to be at Mission Hills and a part of the Grizzly family. I can't wait to work with you all, whether it be on Zoom or in person, hopefully in person, but we'll see. Uh, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or just want to connect. I'm cool with that too. Um, but yeah, some words of encouragement during this strange time is just to give yourself some grace and don't be too hard on yourself. Uh, stay healthy, stay happy, and can't wait to meet you all. Grizzlies. My name is Ms. Via. I'm a San Diego State School Counseling intern. I'm super excited to be working with you at Mission Hills this year. And I know that times are looking a little different than we expected and school is completely different than what we're used to. So my advice is just remember we're all going through this. This is new for your teachers. This is new for your counselors, for you students, parents, everyone. But what I would recommend is trying to remember things that made us happy or do make us happy now and trying to squeeze them in as much as possible throughout our day, whether it's taking a little stretch break, playing video games, watching an episode of Netflix, or anything that makes you happy, do it. So as school counselors, we do a lot more than just adjusting your schedules. We do wanna make sure that you're in the right classes, but we also wanna make sure that you, you feel supported in the, in the three domains that school counselors focus on, and that's college and career, social emotional, and your academics. Uh, we wanna make sure that you are on track to meet our high school graduation requirements. And then we also want you to have a plan for after high school, whether that is going to a four-year university, attending community college, going to a vocational school, or joining the military. If you ever have any questions or concerns, you or your parents can reach out to us. Um, or you can schedule an appointment by emailing us. Uh, we're here to support. At Mission Hills, we have wonderful resources for all our students, and we're going to review what those resources are right now. The College and Career Center, we have San Marcos Promise Education Coordinator, and we also have the so, um, social worker as well as school psychologist to support you. It is 
so important to ask questions and reach out for help when you need it the most. You are surrounded by people who can support you with resources that are readily available, but we can't provide them unless you ask. I'm Amanda Yancer from the College and Career Center, and I help students prepare for life after high school by focusing on careers and developing the skills and tools you need to enter the workforce. That means I help you with resumes, job applications, interviews, internships, or volunteering opportunities, and I even teach a monthly class on personal finance. If I could give everyone one piece of advice, it would be to relax. You don't have to choose one career and one job title for the rest of your life, and you do not need to choose it now. On average, people actually change their careers five to seven times throughout their working life. That means you will work in many different fields and you will have many different job titles. That question, what you want to do when you grow up, will change as you continue to grow up. You're going to do great things in life. There is no need to stress out right now. Just know that you are supported and you have the help of your counseling team, college and career center, and all of your amazing teachers. So if you need anything, please email me and reach out. I'm here for you. Bye, everyone. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Diaz or Miss Marissa, whichever you feel most comfortable calling me, and I'm the social worker at Mission Hills High School. Um, I'm going on my fourth year now at Mission Hills, um, and I figured I'd give you a little glimpse of my virtual world since we're seeing some of yours. Um, that being said, as a school social worker at Mission Hills High School, I am here to really support the mental health and well-being of the students on our campus. Um, so if ever there's a time you or your family feels like you need support of any kind, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, I have multiple different types of resources available. It can look like food resources, housing resources, um, mental health resources. Um, we also provide groups and short-term individual counseling if that's needed. Um, and you might see me pop into some of your classes for a classroom presentation periodically. So I really look forward to meeting you and welcome to Mission Health. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Mr. Kopaki. And I'm Mr. Lozano. And we are your school psychologists at Mission Hills. We are located in the counseling office next to the College and Career Center. We offer emotional support to students along with our counselors and social worker, and also work as part of the school's special education team. We're wishing you all the best this year, hoping you guys can make the most of it. And uh, just wanted to give you a reminder when possible, try to unplug, uh, make sure you get outside, trade in some of that uh, blue light from all your screen time for some good old fashioned UV light. Go Grizzlies. So you can see Grizzlies, there are just so many people here on campus just dedicated to supporting you in any way they can. So this slide goes over just some of the ways that you can communicate with Mission Health staff. Hopefully you've been accessing Student View and for the parents and caregivers to be accessing Parent View. Uh, it's a great communication tool and a way for you to check your grades and assignments. You can check online and there is an app you can download for your device if you would like to. If you ever have any login issues, you can always contact Mrs. Ochoa. She works in our assistant principal's office and she can assist you with your activation code or any login issues that you're having with Parent View or Student View. Communicating with your teachers is definitely important. So don't be shy about reaching out to them directly. Um, they have their websites, their Google Classrooms, and then of course email as well. You can email any staff member at Mission Hills High School. We all have the same format for our email. It's our first name dot last name. And then on our website, we have a faculty page that lists all the contact information for every staff member here at Mission Hills also. There's a lot of support for you academically here at Mission Hills as well. We have some tutoring services. So in addition to contacting your teacher directly for any academic support, we also have tutoring programs. If you're taking any AP or advanced placement classes or any honors classes, we have the IMAP program being coordinated by Mrs. Markgraf and you can contact her directly for more information about that. 
Our English learners, we have a Grizzly Stepping Up peer tutoring program every Wednesday from 3.50 to 4.50. There's a Zoom link here, and Mrs. Hernandez is our EL coordinator, and you can contact her if you need more information. And finally, we have a free resource new to all students this year. It's called the Paper Online Tutoring Resource. It's free. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There's academic support in English and Spanish, and you just log in with your SMUSD email. So remember, Grizzlies, asking for help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Hello, Grizzlies, Ms. Goldstein. I wanted to go over some of our grading information as it's a little different this year than in prior years. Starting this school year, we do have two terms. Term one will end on January 22nd, and term two will end on June 9th. Each term, students will take up to four classes, and it will be the entire year for that class. So if a student is currently taking English 10, for example, they will be completing their 10 credits during this term. Students need to be enrolled in a minimum of two classes per term, and students can be earning up to 40 credits a term, which is four classes or 80 credits for the whole year, which would be eight classes total. Here's a look at a few examples of our new four by four schedule. So our ninth grade students will be enrolled all four periods each term. All ninth graders take a year long course of English and AVID, as well as a year long course of Algebra One. In addition, you can see in term one, a freshman has two additional classes, biology and an elective, in term two, PE, and another elective. All ninth graders should be earning up to 80 credits this year. For our students in grades 12, 10 through 12, students must be enrolled in a minimum of two classes, but may also take four classes during a given term. In the example you see here, the student is off roll first period during term one, which means they do not have a class first, and they have classes from second, third, and fourth period. And for term two, the student has a first period, a second period, and a third period. Hi, Grizzlies again. Um, if you ever need to find any information, you can always visit our Mission Hills website page. Um, you can find information about like our counseling department, about any other department programs such as AVID, ASB, um, you can find different resources. Um, there's a feature on there um, called Peach Jar where you can find different flyers of different events that are happening, um, as well as this is where you can access, you know, student view to check your grades. You can additionally find a lot of information on our Mission Hills um, Counseling uh, Facebook uh, page, Twitter, Instagram, and we also have a YouTube channel. I know that when I want to find uh, information about whether it's scholarships, events, um, different things happening throughout the week, I go onto our Instagram page um, and that's where I can find a bunch of information. Um, our YouTube channel, this is new and so we've uh, been putting up videos on how to apply for college and what college is about financial aid. Um, so you can go ahead and visit and start um, being informed about um, just college and career information. So thank you Grizzlies. Just know that our counseling department is here for you and we hope that we're all going to make it a great year. Um, and so Stay strong and just know that we're, we're in this together.